Hi there, I'm Barrett McCauley with Sebi Art Photographic Evolution and I'll be video guest blogging with YardEdge.net. Today I am in Purley, England, which is about an hour south of central London, where the very talented Marissa Willoughby Holland lives. She's a Jamaican painter who relocated over here to England some years ago. And she has found herself here on these beautiful tree-lined streets. And her studio is just up there where I'm going to be talking to her about her art, when she started, where she studied, what her style of painting is, and to introduce some of her pieces to you. I hope you enjoy. Stay with us. wonderful art studio out back and, and what's this little house here oh that's my son's playhouse <laughs> <laughs> so cute little jasper in the background <laughs> okay so um so the first thing i have to ask you is why why are you an artist and and when did you realize that you were going to become one well um i think i realized i wanted to become an artist when i was about five years old um, and I remember saying to my parents that that's what I really wanted to do and they were very, very supportive. So, um, yeah, I think I was about five. And why am I an artist? I'm not sure. I think that's just, well, I like to think that was what I was born with. Mm -hmm. yeah, born with a, a talent or a, a need to, to be creative. I moved to England when I was about 16. Um, and I moved here primarily to study, to do my A-levels and then go on to do my degrees. Um, but I ended up meeting my husband in the process, so I ended up staying. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yes, I studied, I did my A-levels locally in Surrey and then I did a foundation at Chelsea College of Art in London. Mm -hmm. and then I did um, my degree at Camberwell College in London then I did an MA at the Royal College in London. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, this is a long term study. Yeah, yeah, well that's, that's part of why your skills are so, <laughs> <laughs> so wonderfully perfected. Yeah. Um, how would you, I know this is, this is, this is a tall order for, to ask an artist, but how would you describe your work? Well, I think I, um, I would describe it as very personal and quite emotionally charged, I think. Mm -hmm. Very emotional work. Um, at the moment it's a lot about motherhood and life and death because mm -hmm. that's what's happened in my life. So, mm -hmm. you know, experiences that I have in my life, I tend to reflect those in my work. And um, also it's quite Caribbean, I've been told, in this country, in mm -hmm. the UK. Um, vibrant colours and lots of flowers and things, but um, all the flowers tend to have symbolism. At the moment I'm doing lots of lilies because mm -hmm. they represent death and um, other things. Lilies are quite strong. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, I think that's how I would describe it. <laughs> For anyone who would try to describe your work um, beyond that in terms of um, what style you paint in and what mediums do you use? What what would you what would you say there? Like do you paint in oils, acrylics, water? Well, it's a mixture really. I used to do a lot of watercolors, gouache mm -hmm. mainly, um, but now I, I work with acrylics and um, an ink, an oil based ink mm -hmm. together. So oh wow! That, yeah, that's mainly what I use. Did you create that mix? Did you discover yes. that? In well, I, I think I did at school because we were doing a lot of printing and things like that, and um, I, I liked to just experiment with paints and put them together <laughs> <laughs> and just hope that it worked. And I, I think I found something that works for me. So oh, great! Yeah, great. that's what I do. And um, well, speaking of printing, you you you're an illustrator as well, right? Yes, yes. I don't do so much of that now with the children because I have two children both very very young 18 months apart the eldest is not even three 
so I find it very hard to work to deadlines. Mm -hmm. um, but before that, certainly I did um, illustrations for the Guardian newspaper, and um, I have attempted a few children's books. Mm -hmm. um, I remember you saying earlier um, that this apple tree that we're sitting under inspired yes. some pieces as well. Yes, when we first moved here, we moved here, I'd say about four or five years ago, and I remember because we, we wanted to have a child, and I remember this apple tree actually was featured in a lot of my paintings mm -hmm. because I feel that you know apples it's the fruit of life for really, yeah. it. So, yes, it still does feature there, you know, apples <laughs> in my work. Mm -hmm. um, so it does it, it has a bearing, it really inspiring. Ooh, interesting choice of words too. <laughs> has a bearing. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what what other artists have influenced you and, and how have they influenced you? At the moment I'm really into sort of medieval art and uh, you know, art from the 16th century and looking into the old masters whereas in the past I think, um, well I always loved Frida Kahlo and um, mm -hmm. I can see Spanish that. painters, Diego Rivera as well. <coughs> also Caribbean art inspired me of course, Colin Garland mom had a, a few of his paintings mm -hmm. and um, Carl Abrams as well. Yeah. He was actually a friend of my grandfather's. So he, really? Yeah, he painted a, a few portraits of my father's sisters. Um, yeah, so we had, you know, various artists. That's right. Yeah. <laughs>